Hey everyone, I just wanted to be sure to give you the additional update that came with the Amber Alert out of El Paso, Texas that was canceled last night and they said they'd give additional info. They did do a press conference. I happen to be streaming something else. So wanted to make sure that I at least got the press conference for you and uh, you can hear some of the details that they add to it. Mm, um. I mean, I don't know. I'm I'm not sure what I think of it. I guess uh, let me know in the comments what you're thinking, what you get off of off of the press conference. But uh, just wanted to show the images of of the two that the Amber Alert involved. And uh, here we go. Okay, I'm Sergeant Robert Gomez, Public Information Officer of the El Paso Police Department. Um, I want to start off by saying that. Uh, the SWAT team, the officers out at Loma Land at 11.05, I know that we, uh, there was a lot of reports of SWAT teams being there, and we asked you all to hold off on reporting, and, and I just, from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you to all the news agencies that cooperated with us and all the online resources that, that were able to, to, to wait. Um, I, I'm happy to, to announce that the, the, the Amber Alert, the two-year-old, he has been, uh, he has been, he, he is in our custody, he is safe, and he is unharmed. Uh, the suspect is also in custody and also unharmed. And that happened just moments ago at uh, 9 p.m. Um, we really, the SWAT team, investigative units are still out on the scene, they're still working, but we thought it was important to say that uh, the, the Amber Alert, the, the child is, is safe and uh, we're, uh, at this moment, they're having him checked out with fire medical services because this just happened and they're still at the scene. So we will we'll know more once it evolves, but we wanted to make sure that we told uh, the media and the city of El Paso and everybody that was looking for this child that he's safe. And I just want to thank everybody that, uh, that helped us do this. Um, the call came in originally at 1252 hours to uh, 11045 Gateway West which is the Studio 6 um, hotel. Uh, it came in as a suspicious subject. The investigative units determined that it was possibly the, the suspect of, of, the, of the kidnapping, and uh, they started their investigations at that time, and it wasn't until just moments ago that the SWAT team was able to rescue the child and uh, take the subject into custody. Um, I'll take any questions you have right now, but as of right now, that, that's all we have. Um, oh. um, can you just um, give us a bit more of the information of leading up to the objection kidnapping? Um, the, the actual kidnapping, what was released is still the initial part. Um, they have to go and, and, and further investigate that before we confirm it. So whatever we released prior is, is what we have to stay with. Um, we can only report on the, the rescue of the child and the, the arrest of the of the suspect um the investigation that occurred in the kidnapping we still have to complete that investigation before we can give you further details so unfortunately the way we presented it to you has to stay the same until investigators have time to to uh to understand exactly what happened it's important that we get this right and uh, right now we're, we're more concerned about rescuing the child and taking the person into custody when those details do become available with investigators, we will reach out and, and let you know. What type of charges is the suspect now facing? As of right now, it's aggravated kidnapping. Thanks. But there could be more. That's just the, the charge off the bottom. Did someone from the community call to see if that person was there? The, hotel? the, the call, I, I don't know who called. Um, we don't, I, I don't know who called on this, on this police call. Um, that's part of the investigation. They're still determining that. Uh, I can only tell you that the call was a suspicious subject. Um, during the, the call coming in, investigative units, which were uh, TAC, CAP, uh, you know, everybody was looking for, for the subject and the child. So in hearing that going over the radio, they were able to piece together or uh, and, you know, have a, an educated guess that it was possibly 
and they followed up on their leads and it led to the, to the rescue as we know right now. So I don't have the details of how it exactly happened um, because they're just very fresh and uh, those details specifically will be available once the investigators are able to come together and uh, understand exactly how it, it, it occurred. I know you said there's very fresh, there's not that many details at the moment, but can you tell us maybe why it took so long to take it into custody? Did the subject, did the suspect have any weapons with him? Um, as far as weapons, I, I don't know what he was found with. I can, can tell you that the, these types of situations, especially when there's a possible hostage or a kidnapped victim, we take them very seriously and we have to do very, uh, we have to be very methodical and absolute in our decision making. Uh, CMT crisis management team, once they did make contact, of course, tried to talk and negotiate with the, with, with the suspect. And uh, that takes time. We're gonna give people the opportunity to, to end it peacefully. Um, it went on a little longer and uh, the decision was made to go and uh, get the, the child. And uh, once that was made, the SWAT team did recover the child and take him into custody. The time frame is long because there's a lot of uh, investigative work, confirmations, and uh, you know, uh, basic police work that has to be completed when we're going to do these types of uh, investigations and rescues. The SWAT team prepares uh, constantly for this. This is what they train for. Uh, CMT trains for this also, and uh, time is on our side, and we're going to take it because our ultimate goal is the preservation of life, including the suspect. Uh, SWAT is a life-saving organization. We know this is a very sensitive subject, of course. But can you tell us uh, why the police didn't want information about the SWAT situation to be released right now? The, we, we wanted the, the, the this, we don't have very many hand regards. And these types of investigations are very emotionally charged, especially when it, it involves family members. Um, a, a young child, we don't know the mental state of the, the suspect. And what we don't want is for any uh, any news to be released that could possibly escalate that person and have them decide to harm the child. So it was very important that uh, number one, he did not know that we were at his door, and number two, to keep him as calm as possible and not uh, stir any emotions that could possibly lead to the the the. the, the the child being injured or, or possibly worse. So that was the reason why we asked you all not to report on it. Um, one other reason is that at the time when SWAT and investigative units, it's an investigative process. It takes its, it takes a journey. And until we are 100% confirmed on what is occurring, we would rather err on the side of caution and have you hold back than to you know give out misleading information or put the child or the, the the hostage in uh, jeopardy. Do we know if the suspect was threatening to harm the kid or do we have information? I don't have any information on the dialogue that happened between CMT or SWAT. Um, that information is, like I said, it's, it's very fresh. Um, we won't have any of that until the investigation is complete. So I'm not aware of any threats as of right now. Um, how long will it be um, that the child is you know, tracked on in terms of the medical services like when will he be able to go back with his mother or you know better? there's a lot of uh there's a lot of things that have to happen before that can happen of course the the, the welfare of the child is is the priority um if fms is is the ultimate say so which possibly might not be it could be hospital we don't know so to give you a time frame is based on his condition the the immediate information we got as soon as he was placed into custody that he was unharmed or not harmed but of course after further medical evaluation that could change so i can't give you really a time frame of when he will be uh, you know reunited with his family okay. but he will go back to his mother I, I i i don't know the steps that they're going to take there's a lot of uh, investigation that has to be done and I don't want to prematurely give you a statement that I don't know right now is true. Um, that's the that's the goal is to reunite people with their their family. But I don't want to go on something I don't know right now and say that that's an absolute. Things have to take its course. That's the most important that we do this right. 
Any other questions? Again, I just want to thank the members of the media, of your organizations for being very professional and being very uh, we have. You have a huge part in the success of this rescue movement. So I just want to thank you personally. Sorry, one more question. Just to uh, confirm, um, so did the suspect come out on his own or did uh, SWAT what I know right now is SWAT arrested him. I don't know the process on how it occurred. Okay, and um, how long can we expect the SWAT team to still be out there tonight? Um, I don't know the tactics that they use or, or what was used to get into the room, I, I should say. So it could be, um, you know, at least hours. Depending on the investigative units, they, they are going to possibly process, which does take time. So it could be, we would, we would guess that it would be at least hours. Okay. Thank you. What the hostage was? No, it's too early to 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 speculate on on the condition of either one. Uh, they're being evaluated right now as, as we speak, and uh, it would be premature to 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 give a statement that we know for sure. How did you guys feel when you received the call that no one was home? That that's our ultimate goal. Um, is in these situations, like I said a little while ago, SWAT, special weapons and tactics, the emphasis on tactics is a life-saving organization. And that is the goal of every SWAT officer or any SWAT commander or any crisis negotiator. The ultimate goal is for everybody, including the suspect, to be safe. That is our number one goal. And how does it make it feel? It makes them feel that they've done their job correctly, that everybody can go home, both suspects, subjects and officers. I don't know. I let me know what y'all think. I think that it's rather interesting how um but I don't blame them. I was going to say how uh, kind of uh, closed up they are. They're not really given much information. They didn't want information put out initially that there were had a SWAT team showing up. I get it. Once he explained it, like, yeah, sure, makes sense, right? You don't want um, media putting it out. It could agitate the person more. It, it also brings on a whole, it just kind of adds extra chaos. Um, I don't know. And then the fact that there, a question was about drugs, he wouldn't really answer. The question about, um, I, well, it was a question, but the statement about it being a suspicious call that came in initially. Mm, and then followed up with the question about, so the little one is going to go back to their mom. And he's like, well, I can't give any answers. So if I don't, I don't know. I don't. No, I don't know. I, I, something, right. And I think more information will come out when they're able to, and that's okay with me. Uh, totally okay with me. I'm not, I'm the furthest from the person that's like demanding. They need to be more transparent, you know, uh, let them do their job. And, but what I started off with is I don't really blame them. I don't know if it's, they're being so silent because there's a whole lot more to it or Maybe it could be a combination um, or if it's because they know what happens with media gets involved and then social media and then it turns into a whole mess. And uh, I don't know if it's that or if it could be a combination of the both, but more and more we're seeing that these cases are not getting information put out by law enforcement nearly as much. Um, it's like they really try hard not to because they see what happens with it. And that's also like why, how we're not able to really watch as many hearings or trials where they want to keep the cameras out. I mean, I, I think that social media did it to themselves is just my opinion though, um, because you're seeing it less and less now, but uh, please let me know what you think in the comments, what your thoughts are on this or why you think, you know, they're so quiet or didn't really want anybody knowing. Is there more to it? They said that they were both safe. 
and it was interesting wording if you take a look at my community post that they had said secured them they had safely secured secured i'm saying that word weird but you know what i mean so i don't know we will see what comes of it i will give you additional updates when they come out but uh just want to make sure that i i got this out to you Thanks for listening, everybody. I will talk to you very soon. Have a good day.